Hey guys, this is Scooter here with Macintosh Tips, and today I'm going to show you how to take your favorite websites and make them applications. Let's get started. Now, as you see here on this website called fluidapp.com, as you know, all links will be in the description box on that side. Uh, now, Fluid, it pretty much takes your favorite websites and it makes them into an SSB, a site specific browser. Alright, so it's a specific uh, browser for that specific site. So we're going to take two uh, two things today. I'm going to take myapplespace.com, which is the website that I found this off of. Uh, links will be in the description box. It's called myapplespace.com. It's a social network for all Mac users. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to show you about that. And then I'm going to show you another app on uh, and how to do it all with Facebook. So let's get started. So anyway, like I said, this is, uh, this is um, fluid. Sorry, this is fluid. All right. So what you'll need, you need to download the application, which I have here on my dock right here. It's like a little globe, all right. It's called Fluid. Once you hit Fluid, this will open up, all right, and it'll say uh, create sp uh, site specific browser, and you enter the URL you want. So I'm going to do www.myapplespace.com, all right, and I want to name it the app. Now you're naming the application, so I'm going to name it My Apple Space. and then you can figure out where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my applications. All right, and then it'll automatically take the icon of that website, or you can choose your own. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one for my Apple Space, and on my next one, I'll choose my own. So let's go get started. So I got my icon here. I hit create. Does a little downloading here. Doesn't take that long. Now this is pretty cool because you can access it uh, anywhere you have internet connection. You don't have to get to the internet. So let me show you. Uh, so I'm gonna hit launch now. All right, and pretty much as you see on my dock now, there's a my apple space application with master logo and boom I'm logged in alright now if I was signed out I just signed back out now let me just show you a little bit on um, my apple space now I found some of my apple space like I said it's a little space for the rest of us it's just a pretty much a general um, what do you call it a general uh, social network like myspace but for apple users uh, it has thou over a thousand uh, a little close to 1,500 members, uh, and they get on here and they post their videos on here. Uh, there are groups. They you post your own uh, photos, uh, blogs. Uh, there's a chat here. All right, or you can chat in here. I can say, "Hey guys, you are in my next video." All right, and whoever around the world is on here would do it. I've talked to the owner of this website. He's a really cool guy. Uh, so this is just a pretty cool. Uh, website and like I said, you guys can visit here. It's my profile here. All right, and Macintosh Tips has their own uh, profile, and you can link to other websites and things like that. So pretty much with this app, I can do everything pertaining to this. Now, if I click to an external app uh, or link like YouTube, it'll take me up to my web browser. All right, but anyway, so this is just my Apple Space app. I can make it as big as I want, and I can do everything I can, but I'm not using the internet. Pretty cool. Now, say I want to quit that app. I'm going to go back to Fluid and make another one. Same thing, I'll go www.facebook.com. Label it as my Facebook. All right, and the next time you get on this, it'll be at the same page. So let's say you were reading a blog on my Apple Space and you had to go real fast. You'll quit your application, come back, and you'll be on that same page. Very cool. So I'm going to call it my Facebook. Save it in my applications, and I'm going to choose a photo that I want to upload. So I'm going to browse through my photos here. Definitely don't want this photo of Bill Gates. Let's see what I got here. I'll take this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click open and hit create. And it'll say launch now. And pretty much my own app with Facebook is loading up right now. It's called My Facebook. I can quit, go to preferences. I can do all this cool stuff. Open up a new tab right here. All right. And do some more stuff. It's very cool, very cool stuff. All right. And as you see on the dock, it's my picture. All right, so it's very very cool there. I can log in my Facebook. Let me go ahead and log in real fast for you. And I'm logging into Facebook, and I can operate everything on Facebook. I have some notifications here. I can check. Boom, I got those. Go to different pe people's profiles. All right, go to a profile. Boom, just like that. So that's a little quick tip on Fluid. Like I said, the links will be in the description box. You download, type in your URL, and have fun. You can do as many as you want. Doesn't matter. And they all save in your applications. And when you're done. You can just delete it. So, this has been Scooter Magnetosh Tips. I hope you guys had a great happy holidays. Wish you very, very, very good luck for the new year. And uh, peace. In a world.
Where there are no Zune, spyware, adware, malware, blue screens of death, Bill Gates, Jerry Seinfeld, Windows Vista, or any viruses. Where there's a little space for the rest of us. At myapplespace.com. Join now like fellow YouTubers, The Cost, Emig77, and Macintosh Tips. Create your own profile today. Upload photos, music, and videos. Visit us at myapplespace.com.